should realize that in our lives we can make a change for a brighter day. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate. Uh, dear viewers everywhere in the globe, uh, I greet you with the greeting of peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be unto all of you. Uh, this is uh, the presenter of uh, the two options, uh, this interesting program that's interesting for many people and uh, interesting for me myself. Uh, we are going to continue uh, these episodes uh, by adding another one today, which may uh, look very different, but they uh, the, 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 before I do that, I'd like to remind you that uh, the theme that's selected for uh, this series of episodes is or focuses on these two options. And the reason is you can't escape it. Nobody on the earth can escape this theme because it's very frequent. It is very common. It happens to every human being. A king, a janitor, a teacher, a politician, a man, a woman, a young, a girl, a boy. It happens to everybody. So you have to understand the essence of uh, this theme because you will encounter situations. I'm, I'm not going to say that you may encounter. No, definitely you will encounter and face some situations that you need to restore to keep these stories vivid in your mind so that you can restore uh, you can respond to any situation in the way that pleases Almighty Allah. The concept of the two options, yeah, is all the time we say that we Muslims uh, select option number one, which is mainly uh, obedience to Almighty Allah. And this is our focus as Muslims. However, now we are going to give an example of someone whose focus is on option number two, which sounds very strange for Muslims now. And perhaps this is the first one in the history of humanity, in the history of this uh, universe or, or this planet that took this decision and selected option number two. It is about Iblis, the master of jinn, the master of shaitan. And he is the one who selected this option willingly and we will see how did he reach this option because of his use of bad use or incorrect use of his intellect or his brain. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam, ask, he asked Iblis, the master of jinn, to submit and to prostrate to Adam. However, Iblis did not submit. So he had the option whether to submit to Adam and to obey Almighty Allah because Allah commanded him or not to submit. Again, he had the free will and he was, yes, of the choice of number two. He selected choice number two. Willingly, not only that, but he tried to find good logic and good argument for this. When Almighty Allah asked him this question, قَالَ يَا إِبْلِيسُ مَا مَنَعَكَ أَن تَسْجُدَ لِمَا خَلَقْتُ بِيَدَيَّ أَسْتَكْبَرْتَ أَمْ كُنْتَ مِنَ الْعَالِينَ Oh, you Iblis, why? What prevented you from submitting to what I have created by my hands, referring to Adam? What prevented you from submitting to Adam? أَسْتَكْبَرْتَ Were you arrogant or you try to show off here or to disobey Almighty Allah. And here Iblis brought an argument and this is the, I want everybody to focus on this. He not only selected this option number two, which is the worst option, which is an option for Muslims not to use, but he selected it. He had strong argument or solid argument, as some people say. And that's what we see in our lives today. Everybody argues and thinks that he has a solid argument. And he has solid something to defend with, 
to support his viewpoint why he didn't do this. His argument with Almighty Allah is that you created him from mud, you created Adam from mud, and you created me from fire. And according to his own logic, he said that fire is better than mud. Therefore, I should not submit to him. Rather, he was implying that he should submit to me. This is the argument. And by the way, a lot of people nowadays, when they bring an argument, they think that this is unbreakable argument. This is a very solid argument. And it can sound, it may look in the eyes of the presenter, of the person who argues that it is a strong argument or solid argument. However, it is so weak from our perspective as Muslim because he forgot who commanded him, who forgot about the hierarchy of this universe and on the top of this hierarchy is the creator of this universe. The creator of Adam, the creator of Iblis, the creator of Jinn, the creator of planets, the creator of galaxies, the creator of everything. He forgot about that because he was trying to find a way to run away and that's why he resorted to our argument and he thought that it is a strong and a good argument. Lots of people do that, unfortunately. Women do that, men do that, politicians do that, doctors do that, lots of people do that. And you have to be very careful and to guard yourself against this. And the Prophet ﷺ warned us against bringing arguments or arguing and debating without knowing. Before you suggest, before you say anything, ask yourself what is the source of this command? Who commanded you, Iblis, to do this? Was it Adam who commanded you or was it the Lord of Adam? Was it you or was it your Lord? It was the Lord of the worlds who commanded you to do this and you forgot about this and you try to find a good justification for yourself. This is the trap that lots of people fall into. If you don't remember Allah all the time, if you don't attribute all the gifts that you have, all the blessings that you have, all the good things that you have, if you don't attribute them to Almighty Allah and you forget about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will fall into this trap. Iblis was the first one to fall into this trap and that's why he selected option number two, the option that not a single Muslim is supposed to take it. Uh, however, it happened. And again, this is perhaps the first disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that happened in this universe. It was led by Iblis, it was led by Satan. And that's why one of his tasks is that to continue inviting people to follow him so that they would fall into this trap. And unfortunately, I would declare that many people fall into this trap. When you go to many universities, when you meet with journalists and interviewers and some sort of people who call, are called intelligentsia or the intellectual or sometimes professors in universities, some people who are, think that they are very educated, when you start talking to them, presenting the truth to them, they fall into this trap. Their main concern is to try to find arguments, and they think that these arguments are solid and strong. However, this is not the case. This is the trap that I'm warning everybody not to fall into. And to avoid this, Take this rule in your life because it helps you a lot. Look for the source of this decree and this command. Is it from Almighty Allah or is it from someone else? If it is someone else who is not a messenger or a prophet of Allah, you can argue with it. You need to use your logic. However, if it is from Almighty Allah, your creator and the creator of the universe, you have to stop arguing. You have to know whom you argue with. You cannot do this because he is the owner of this universe. Now, nowadays, as I said, that try to see that 
You can see the arguments in the newspapers, on the TV channels. You can see it everywhere. It's happening. People, they think that they have strong... They just want to argue. They just want to argue using the limited knowledge that they have in, to support their arguments. We Muslims, we have the strongest argument in the world. This is from the Lord of the universe who knows everything, who is perfect, who never, ever, ever does not fulfill his promise. All the time he does fulfill that. And when we use this argument, our argument becomes much stronger than others. Yeah. Now, so please, as a Muslim, look for the source of uh, this decree and then, only then, if you know that it is from a messenger of Allah or from Allah directly, especially if it is in the Quran, the most authentic book in this universe, you have only to submit and you have to select option number one and don't follow the footsteps of Satan so that you can avoid falling into the trap of option number two. You have to focus on this. Don't follow the footsteps of shaitan, otherwise you will end up in the same place that he will end up in. Dear viewers everywhere, this is my topic today, and I hope we benefit from it and we teach it to others. Again, I remind you that we need the support of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to continue on the right track and to continue presenting the truth to others. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the utmost support to every Muslim who declares La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. This is your brother, Dr. Mamdouh Nuruddin Muhammad. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu until we meet again. In this world today, there are many ways to fall from grace and to go astray we should realize that in our lives we can make a change for brighter